What is going on guys, today we have a new Five Find microphone. Thanks to Five Finds for actually sending this out for me to review. This is one of their new budget microphones meant for gaming. It has an RGB in the inside of it, so you have a nice flashy look to it. This has a sample rate of 192 kilohertz, built-in sound card. This does retail for less than 50 bucks, so it's a nice budget microphone. On the back, you just have more features. This is plug and play. It does have a pop filter and gain control, as well as a little stand here. So power supply is five volts via USB. Let's get straight into it. So straight up right here, we have a user guide. Very clear instructions, just shows you basic, the basics of it and how to use it, how to set it up on your computer. If you have Mac or Windows, shows you pretty much everything you need to know. So it's dummy proof if you don't, if you need that. All right, let's go and get into this. So here's the microphone. It has a nice pop filter right here. You have a mute button right on the top. And then I think this is a volume slash gain control. And then you have a mount right here. Fairly lightweight, which is pretty cool. Right here, we have a USB type C to USB A input. That's nice. It does have a little cable strap here as well. And then last, you have a tripod, which is actually really, really good build quality. I'm gonna use the tripod and then I'm gonna use it mounted just to see the difference. But that's pretty much everything you get. Let's go ahead and set this up. All right, so here it is. It has a very long cable, which I do appreciate. Let's go ahead and get set this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up on Mac, but it's pretty much the same process for any type of uh, microphone. All right, so as you can see, this is what the RGB looks like. It looks really, really nice. Very, very vibrant. It does look good on camera, which is nice. You can turn it on and off, and I'm pretty sure that's the mute button. It looks really, really good. So we're just gonna see how this microphone sounds. I'm pretty sure cardioid microphone, so it only hears in one direction, which is good. And then you can adjust it on the back right here on uh, what angle you want it at, which is nice. But if I find microphone right there, and then we just patch it to this right here. And then we just arm for record. As you can see, the meter does show up right there. All right, testing. This is the audio of the Fifine microphone. I'm just sitting fairly close. So if I were to be doing a voiceover, this is how it would sound like. Let me know what you think. And then for gaming and streaming, since you'll be far away, put it on the boom arm in a bit, but that's what it sounds like if you're about, let's say about two to three feet away, this is what it would sound like if you were far away, obviously. So yeah, that's what that would sound like. You could obviously turn up the gain. It's on the bottom, and I don't know which way it is. It might be this way. It looks like it is that way, so that's the max volume. And then you can adjust it on the bottom. It has a nice knob. Unlike the Blue Yeti, where you have to go on the back of the microphone and figure out where it is. This one's literally just on the bottom. It's not confusing, which is nice. So it's a lot easier to adjust. So yeah, that's that. And then let's try up the mute section. And then we're back onto it. All right, so we just took off our Blue Yeti. Now, number one, let's just show the size difference. This is the Blue Yeti, and this is the Fifine microphone. Uh, so it's a lot smaller, a lot lighter. Uh, it's made out of plastic. This one's made out of an aluminum, so it, this one obviously feels better, higher quality. I don't think it's really gonna matter. If it sounds just as good as the Blue Yeti, then it doesn't really matter. The setup I have right now, as you can see, I need a whole different big pop filter, which uh, is annoying because it's just huge. So if this little microphone can replace my voiceovers and just everything in general, then that would be super amazing. So I could get rid of this microphone or just looks good in streams. It just looks really good. So let's just go ahead and mount this on there and then let's get rid of the pop filter. As you can see, it's a lot more minimal, which is good for my setup since the Blue Yeti before was like pretty much almost touching the table, basically sounds from the table more. Uh, I'll be checking on how sensitive the microphone is as well. So if I were to be streaming, uh, clicking stuff and whatnot, uh, gaming on a controller, I'll just test all of that right now, um, just to make sure, cause since this is the ideal streaming spot where it'll be and how the sound will sound. All right, so this is the Five Find microphone. As you can see, this is what it sounds like from this distance. I'm roughly about three feet away. Hopefully it sounds pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and just like, move around and pretend I'm doing stuff so you can actually see if you can hear anything in the background or maybe some fabric moving from around here and how sensitive the microphone would be. So that's what that sounds like. The gain is all the way up and that's pretty much it. Let's see if you can hear some button tapping. 
since this should have a better noise cancellation than the Blue Yeti. The Blue Yeti is pretty sensitive, not gonna lie. It's very sensitive, but it has a very crisp audio. All right, so I just figured out another thing we can add for noise cancellation is that air purifier right here. So we're gonna turn that on. We're gonna put it on the highest setting. Well, first we'll do the first, second, and third, and I'll tell you which one they're on and we'll see if it picks up the noise in the background or my voice the most. So that would be helpful. So if I have multiple fans on and it's really hot and I still want to stream, then I want to see if it's good enough. So we're doing the sound test for the air purifier. Right now it's on the second setting. So we're going to see if you can hear the, we have a ton of background noise right now. Just a car just passed. We're going to see if that can pick up. Uh, we have the air purifier on. We're going to see if we're still at the same distance. We're at about two, three feet from the microphone. So we're going to see if that picks up. We're going to go in the highest setting right now. Hear the air purifier or me the most. Hopefully me because that would be a lot nicer. So yeah, that's the background noise. That's just the raw audio of just the background noise. So see how much the background noise actually picks up with no voice. And then we're going to mute it. Just to show you the difference, to see if there's a difference at all. So yeah, that's that. So I normally would use the air purifier on the first or second setting. So hopefully it sounds good. All right, now we're going to do the Blue Yeti microphone sound test. So we're going to do a side by side comparison between the Blue Yeti and the Fi-Fi microphone. We're going to do the background test as well. So we're going to see if there's anything with that. All right, now we're ready to start recording. So in three, two, one, we're going to do the fan as well. All right, so this is the microphone. I'm not too sure what the gain is at right now, but we're sitting at the same distance from the Fi-Fi microphone as the streaming setup. And then we're going to turn on the air purifier. All right, so we turned on the air purifier. It's on the second setting. So we're going to see if we can hear me or the air purifier more. And I'm at the same distance where I was for the Fi-Fi microphone. That's just a little sample to see if we can hear it. This would be a really good game changer for me if the Fi-Fi microphone could be better than this. And we're on the third setting. So we're going to see if the Fi-Fi microphone did, did a pretty good job on this setting. You can hear me more, but we're going to see if the Blue Yeti can do a difference. And there was just some raw audio for there as well. So I'm pretty sure according to the meters, which are right there, it doesn't look so good, which um, the Fi-Fi microphone did a really good job so far on the meters. So I'm, I was looking at that the whole time and it looks like the Blue Yeti had more background noise so far. This is a $200 microphone, but it is an older microphone. This is a brand new microphone. I haven't really seen many people review it yet. Probably like one or two people review this, but this is a game changer for sure. Under 50 bucks. I'm gonna have to do this side by side comparison right now, but so far it's really good. All right, I'm very, very shocked on the sound quality of the Fi-Fi microphone. It actually does a really, really good job. Way better in background noise, but it's not as loud or as crisp as the, five, as the Blue Yeti microphone, which is what you'd expect, but for it being $50, that's insanely good. It's getting really close to beating Blue Yeti for sure. Since Five Hand does a really good job at doing microphones, this one is really good. Plus it has RGB, which not a lot of companies have RGB at this price point. So that's really amazing. It's kind of like the mini quadcast from HyperX. It's just a mini version of that, but like one third of the cost. And I'm pretty sure it sounds almost as good as that as well. Also, let me know which microphone you thought was better, the Five Pine or the Blue Yeti. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.